This is exactly the moment that people here in Situate have been bracing for. Here it is, this water coming up right over the seawall right now. We're still about a half an hour away from high tide, but this is the kind of flood water. These are the wind forces that we've been talking about. This is the storm surge that has created tremendous problems for people out here in Situate. This water, it is flooding down into these neighborhoods behind me. It's coming up over this seawall, and this is why so many people woke up this morning with feet of water flooding their basements and pouring down into the streets. This is a situation that became incredibly difficult and dangerous out here this morning. People who live in this community who are used to seeing flooding, who are used to seeing high tides breach this seawall say that what they saw this morning when that high tide rolled in was more dramatic than something that they have seen in all of their time here. Power lines are a tremendous concern. Power has been shut down to a number of neighborhoods in Situate. We have seen police out. We've seen the National Guard out here. They evacuated people this morning, and they have been back out here again doing evacuations for people who want to get out of these areas that are most prone to flooding. I want to give you one more look at this. This is probably the closest we'll be able to get to this seawall for some time. These waves only picking up steam, the wind only picking up here, and this water just rushing into these neighborhoods, Jake. Alexandria, as you know from covering these storms, as I do, sometimes you get dead enders, people who are just refusing to leave the neighborhood no matter how dangerous it gets. Has there been anyone you've seen like that or are people leaving Situate? Uh, absolutely, Jake. There are people who have decided to stay here in their homes. Uh, some of them do, in fact, have power. They've got heat. They stocked up on provisions. They have said that they have weathered out storms before, and even if this is a bad one, they don't want to leave. But we did, again, see the National Guard was coming through, helping people to get out if they wanted to. Police have also been coming up through the streets in high axle vehicles, you know, reminding people of the danger out here and warning them that if they want to get out, they've got to do it before high tide, which, Jake, is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to peel back now uh, as this water continues to, to breach this wall here so that we can get our vehicle uh, a little further inland.